Welcome everyone to Rare Breed. My name is Gilby, aka Gilbo Swaggins. Now, this is my very first uh, video putting out in this uh, new channel. Um, hopefully, you guys will, you know, back me up and support me because trust me, I've got a lot of cool things lined up. My content pretty much will be related around sneakers, pop culture, uh, funny skits, hip hop, that sort of stuff. Uh, hopefully, I can bring out some interviews as well with uh, some known people that you guys might know and some unknown people that you might, you know, follow and enjoy. So anyway. Today I'm going to be reviewing a pair of kicks that came out last week. Um, so let's do the unboxing. Right. Now these kicks, uh, yeah, like I said, they were released last week, and it's been a bit of uh, mixed reviews. And um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'm lucky enough to cop a good pair. As you can see, yeah, they're Jordans. Now, um, pretty much. Um, yeah, look, I in no way, shape, or form am I an expert, but I've been a sneakerhead since I was eight years old. My first pair were Jordan 5 Grapes. Uh, I caught them in LA when I was little, uh, I fell in love with them, and then following after that were like Jordan 8 Aquas and so on and so on. So, yeah, um, huge sneakerhead. Now, as you can see, they're the royalties. Uh, these bad boys, when I first saw them on, on Lion last year, I went crazy over it. Yes, I was a bit of a high beast. I, I wanted to get these pairs so bad. And um, yeah, luckily it was easy. It was an easy cop from Nike.com. I'm not going to lie because it was a general release. So let's have a look now. As you can see, beautiful colorway, black, black suede with gold wafers, man. Um, you have your gold jump man on the tongue. That says white, and of course the gold jump man on the back. You now the pleather on the back here, it feels good, you know. Like, I mean, of course, yeah, these do feel a little bit cheap. We all know the plastic; it won't be gold plated because if these were gold plated, we'll be paying top dollar. These would probably be for Jordan Four Pinnacle royalties, you know, or some craziness like that. So, yeah, it's to be expected. Uh, let's have a look at the suede though. Whoa, not gonna lie folks, I don't think I was lucky enough to cop a good pair. This way that I've copped, it's kind of ashy, um, and the tongue looks like there's like a razor blade that's been like run over the top, I don't know if you, know if you can see that, no, okay, but yeah, it looks like, it looks like it's being used, you know that like really worn down leather look? Where, like the, the suede, their long hair fibers have kind of worn off and just has the, the actual skin, I guess, look. Yeah, the ashy look. It's what that looks like, man. Like an old tongue. I mean, the front looks good. I've got a lot of ashy bits on the side. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. The stitching on this. Ooh, I've got a couple I've got a couple of like bad stitching lines. Wow, yeah, that's bad. Let's check out the second pair. See if it's any good. Whoa! Look at that! I don't know if uh, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Let's see if I can if I just tweak it a bit. You guys see that line? So, that definitely looks like it's been scraped. Oh my god, the suede on this is terrible and ashy. Oh, check out that. Uh, can, you, can you guys pick that up? It's like super, super old and tough. It's like inconsistent, like, like the toe box. The toe box feel that nice, like soft, long hair suede. But as you run your hand across, it starts thinning out and gets more thicker and tougher and yeah, it's... Oh man, I'm really disappointed. And the glue stains on this and the paint job on the midsole. Whoa! Oh my god, check this out guys! I don't know if you can see, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. I'm like getting my paints. Sorry, I'll zoom back out, guys. My paints are already peeling. 
this is such a look for my first sneaker vlog I, i'm sorry to say i was hoping to bring you guys some fuego some lip kicks but these caca absolutely mierda shit uh i'm sorry dudes like yes what can you do that's the sneaker game for you you win some you lose some as much as I thought I copped a W when I got these, I really copped an L. But you know what? It is what it is, and that's what you can do. But anyway, look, don't be discouraged, because if you like the royalties, go get yourself a pair. You might be lucky enough to cop a really good one, because what Nike does or Jordan Brand, they buy one massive roll of suede, and you know, you never know. You might be able to be lucky enough to cop uh, one of the good part of the suede and also maybe someone is competent enough to stitch properly because the stitching I had here was coming undone the paint job was crap so but though hey look this is the beauty about the sneaker game if you like it cop them you know because right now it's still there's a still full run on nike.com um, I don't know about the size 9 and 9 and a half but everything else seems like it's still up so cop them if not you'll be able to cop them you know obviously resell but by the way things are looking with the resale on these you know what you might still be able to copy just a little bit of a retail price so it's not that bad so it's up to you okay um but yeah for me these are going back to nike.com i'm gonna see if i can cop something better maybe chameleon ones the jordan chameleon ones are all stars oh yeah boy that was a premium and as my boy Dan D would say, premium! I shouldn't rip off this catchphrase, I'll come up with mine. <laughs> anyway guys, it's been great doing this. I, like I said, I'm so stoked that you guys are watching. Stay tuned because I'll have more stuff coming up. I will be doing some giveaways as well shortly. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm in the process of making them. There's going to be some few t-shirts of the, of the name of the channel. Remember, stay tuned to Rare Breed. Because you know what, us sneakerheads, especially here in Australia, we're a rare breed, guys. Until then, this is Gilbo Swaggin saying, peace, love you all, have a great week, catch us next. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and also like. And if you like, write a comment or two. I'm always going to you know, reply back to feedbacks and everything. So until next time, check you guys later.